And what, you may well ask, is on the tray today? It's a tin of custard powder. Still in there. It's what's called a live tin. And this is Monk and Glass custard powder, which I remember when I was a child. It was the rival to Bird's Custard. Um, Bird's Custard powder was developed by Mr. Alfred Bird because his wife was allergic to um, eggs, if you know this. And so it was a, a way of making custard that didn't use eggs and became very famous on the back of that. I don't know whether this was developed at the same time, but it certainly was taken over by Bird's Monk and Glass in 1958. So it ceased to exist after that as a standalone business. Uh, it started off in London in the early 20th century sometime, I'm not quite sure, um, in in the, the Clerkenwell district, I believe. Um, the interesting thing, if there's anything interesting about Monk and Glass, is that the monk you may not know is the um family the methodist family of bob monkhouse the comedian um his partner was called mr glasscock which <laughs> shortened that as well and and um once i found that out i i thought well that's that's really quite interesting so in case you don't know who bob monkhouse was he was a comedian look here he is on this advertisement for cigarettes that don't exist anymore, I don't think. So that's Bob Monkhouse, who we knew on te British television for many, many years. And his father, I believe, started, or his grandfather at least, started the Monk and Glass Custard Foundry works um, and and there you go and the monk the monk is actually based i know that he's based on bob monkhouse's grandfather isn't that all very interesting you can write in and say no if you like but i think it is <laughs>